I'm Chris from Penrose Outdoors in Truro. Welcome to another one of our YouTube product reviews. Today we've got pitched the uh, Banshee 200 that we're going to be looking at. We did a fairly extensive review on the Banshee 300, we put it up for you. Um, but as we got it pitched here, we just thought we'd show you the different sizes um, and how, sort of how much it compares to the 300. So as standard from the Banshee range, you basically get a full aluminium pole set, so two poles back and forth. Obviously the, the blue colour coded one sits at the back, which is slightly longer, and the red colour coded one sits at the front, slightly shorter. Other than that, it's not a freestanding tent, it needs to be pegged out. Um, you can leave the inner in as, uh, when you're pitching it and putting it down, and then it pitches as one, or you can take it out, it's up to you. It still has all the tension band system running through it, so in terms of structural stability, as it is a tunnel style tent and can be affected with the wind this way, it does have the painted to technology from Van Gogh, so it does keep it nice and stable. You can see there, barely, barely moves when I'm touching it. It's got a honeycomb textured uh, face fabric to it as well, um, gives it a little bit of definition and then the waterproofing rating on it is, is high as well. Okay, so being part of their premier range of a sort of adventure backpacking tents, comes with a 70 denier 5000 millimeter hydrostatic head polyester fly sheet, so in terms of weatherproofing you can see there, the rain does just literally flip off it. Got great coating, waterproof coating on it. All the seams totally tape seamed as well. You've got plenty of venting in there as well, so to let the air in, venting in the fly sheet as well, in, on the inner sheet as well. The door just neatly folds into its own pocket, so there's you know quick and easy usage there. Just just literally zips out, and there's no toggling it away. So if we want to just, I'm just going to jump inside just so you can see the space difference. And then what we'll do is, although we've done a fairly good video of the 300, we'll jump in the 300 as well, just so you can see the space difference. So there's a door actually on both sides of this tent. 200 offering quite a good amount of leg room. Bearing in mind I'm about five foot eight, not the tallest in the world, but. I mean, I'd say there's definitely room for another person in here, for sure. I mean, it's going to be cosy, but um, I think you've got plenty of headroom. Uh, there's a little bit of extra access in the back there as well, just for storage. So some storage area there. Uh, and then another door on this side. Obviously, if there are two people in here, you don't want to sort of be climbing in and over them at night. So you've got a little bit of sort of extra exit room there. And then storage-wise, you've got some storage just on the left there. I'm just going to open this to, so you don't really get much storage room on the, on the right hand side of the tent but there is a bit more just on the left there. So that's size on that, there's plenty of mesh venting in here just to allow for a bit of throughput of air, especially if there's two of you in here, it could be a bit of a build up of condensation. But all in all, I mean for the, for the weight of it and the light, sort of the pack size, I think what you're, what you're getting in, in space is, is pretty good. So we've just been in the Banshee 200, coming in at 2.35 kilos. I'm just going to have a look over at the Banshee 300, just because I'm sure people that are looking at this tent are going to be sort of maybe trying to decide which one to go for, 200, 300. 300 comes in at 2.75, which isn't a huge amount more, but just jumping in this, we can actually see the amount of room extra that we get with this tent. Now, obviously, it is total personal preference of what you go for, but, I mean, for a, for a three-man, yeah, it's going to be cosy, but... Maybe if you were going for a two-man, you do get a heck of a lot more space in here. I mean, you've still got the second doorway. It's the same design, but just in terms of room, I mean, you know, loads more room, especially if you've got packs with you that don't really want to leave outside to the dew and the moisture. For a two-man, I think this is pretty good. I mean, for those people that don't realise, obviously, the 200 being two-man, 300 being three-man, I think this is quite a, uh, quite a tight three-man, as the two-man is maybe a bit of a tight two-man. Uh, if you do want any more information on the on the actual floor plan of it, maybe the sizing, a bit more tech spec on the on the, the fabric itself, then please go to our website, have a look at it on www.penroseoutdoors.co.uk. Or if you want to have a look at any more of our YouTube videos, like the, the, the Banshee 300 one we did a bit more in depth or compare some of the other tents, then we have got loads of sort of review videos on there. So have a look and subscribe to that, you get an updates on it. But thanks again for watching, hope you've enjoyed it. Have a great day.